So we recently chopped in half this Red Wing Iron Ranger with a new wedge sole on it with some interesting stuff on the inside. If you haven't watched that, I'll put a link below. But instead of just having the other half of this boot that's uncut sitting on the shelves, we thought we'd do a little practice run on some cobbling because I have a general leatherworking background, not cobbling. And so we're just trying to get better at it and learn some, some skills and take some basic tools and do some at home cobbling. And we definitely made some huge mistakes and it may not be the perfect way to do it, but I thought it'd be cool to watch and I thought you guys might enjoy it. So let's roll the footage and let me know what you guys think. And thanks to Skull Bliss for sponsoring this video.
This turned out so good. You know, we, we definitely made a couple mistakes. There's two huge mistakes that maybe you caught. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section if you know what they are. But it's literally, we forgot a shank. We forgot that there's no shank in this wedge sole until we basically had this sole on. And we're like, oh, we need a shank. And that's like the one thing I always harp on with boot companies. A little ironic, I forgot it. But uh, no shank. And we probably used a little bit too much glue. And being that there's no uh, huge slab of leather in the insole anymore, we didn't want to use clinch nails because we weren't sure exactly how it would perform on this fiberboard. So the heel might not be the most sturdy heel in the world, but it looks really good and I'm super happy with how it turned out. And we did it basically with all with hand tools, or we could have done it with all hand tools, we used some sanders and stuff, but, and we're really trying to pick up the skill of cobbling. So if this was an interesting video to you and you want to see some more, be sure to support this video by liking and commenting, subscribing, all that stuff. Um, because I think it's, they're not so cool. I love it. This might be, actually it, it is the coolest sponsorship we have ever done. Skullbliss sent me this Ram Skull. How cool is that? Little mount on it. But check out <laughs> this big boy. This big water buffalo. We got one more they sent us in the back of the shop. We'll put some B-roll footage of a, a really cool longhorn with a carved skull. It's all hand carved. So if you don't know who Skullbliss is, they offer carved animal skull decor elements that you won't find anywhere else. They take pride in working with skilled artisans and imaginative designers to bring you skull art that becomes a centerpiece in any room. Skullbliss started in Bali and are proudly continuing that relationship with those artisans today. And the skulls are ethically sourced. I know everyone's thinking like, oh, these, they probably killed these animals for these skulls, but no animals were harmed just for their skulls. Their authentic skulls are a byproduct of the local agricultural industries. They turn these would-be waste products into detailed artwork, a process that pays respect to the life of the animal and that's surprisingly affordable. I thought for sure they used to be thousands and thousands of dollars, but they're, they're pretty they're pretty uh, fair priced. So check out Skull Bliss via the link in my description. It kind of just, it speaks for itself. It's the easiest sponsorship ever. It's, it's cool skulls that you can just buy and have shipped to you and they're all carved and they're really cool. So thanks again to Skull Bliss. So thank you guys for watching and watching all the way to the end. And thanks again to Skull Bliss for sponsoring this video. See ya.